movies section might be the most diverse, but still fairly light on the overall size. We have Todd Phillips confirming what I have been saying for months about the new Joker Folly Adieu movie. We have Christopher Reeve's documentary dropping a trailer, and Tim Curry gets cast in his first live action film role in quite some time. And then a little bit more. Hello, nerds! You have found the place for all of the nerdy movie updates worth talking about. More than just comic book movies, though that is a good chunk of what we cover here in the news, we get nerdy about all kinds of movies, as well as the art of making movies in general. If you like this kind of news reporting, then go check out the full show over on the main channel called The Week in Nerddom, where we talk about TV and comic books and gaming and rumors and etc. etc. everything in between. You can find the link to that down in the description or at the end of this video. Now, Let's hear about all that movie goodness, shall we? Okay, so movies. This is the most well-rounded section we have because we have a little bit of everything, though emphasis on little bit. First up in follow-ups and corrections, Joker, Folly Dieu, the director, Todd Phillips, has officially come out and said it is not a musical. <laughs> so when it was branded as a musical in the media, they were misinformed. Surprise, surprise. What it actually is, and this is exactly what I was saying previously when it was announced that this is going to be a musical, I said that seems a little weird. I bet they're going to be headed more in the direction of music. musical numbers happen, song and dance happens randomly in this, but it's going to be hallucinations of Arthur Peck, our Joker character for the, this franchise. And that it absolutely, or Arthur Fleck rather, and that is what basically what Todd Phillips has said. He said the songs happen between Arthur's ears and not in the real world. So we will see singing and dancing, but musical no couple of song numbers while it makes things interesting does not a musical make so that's what we got for follow-ups and corrections let's go into trailers we've got a couple of trailers this week oh and, and an interesting one anyway so i'm getting ahead of myself first one which is kind of the one that i'm most excited about is super slash man the christopher reeve documentary trailer movie just got a trailer uh, it will be in theaters on september 21st and on september September 25th. Uh, it's coming back for that four days later because that is Christopher Reeve's birthday. If you live in a smaller town like me and there is a theater that is carrying it, I would not be surprised to see it run from the 21st through the 25th because we have a couple of small theaters here, a couple of twos and fours. So if either of those uh, theaters near me gets it, then they're probably going to be running it the, the entire four days. Uh, but the larger, the larger cities are probably only going to run it for those two days, 21st and 25th. With. These dates are only for the states. If you are an international viewer, then it will be coming your way. Just those dates have not yet been made available. So as that happens, we will be elaborating on it in the follow-ups section. Also, also, there is no streaming date for it yet. So they're really trying to get as much as they can out of the theatrical release and before they announce that they're going to streaming. So good on them for doing that. Let's move on, though. Next up is kind of a trailer, but not really because the movie's technically already out, just not in all territories. So we have some interesting things going on with Deadpool and Wolverine, not the least of which is that we have a cameo that is Hulk cameo rather that is different in this trailer for the Korean audience than it was in the American version of the movie, which I find incredibly interesting. But also Ryan Reynolds dropped Gambit thing, but that's really more post credit scene and we're going to get to that in the rumor mill. So stick around for that. But yeah, there is an interesting Hulk cameo in this Korean version of the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, which makes me wonder if they're adding footage into the other territories version of this movie and why exactly that would be. I don't understand. Maybe Hulk does super well in those territories. We got a little bit of a cameo in the Dared, in the Deadpool Wolverine movie stateside, and I'm sure where, where all the territories that it's currently in, but 
not this cameo. It's very interesting. Anyway, go check it out. See what I'm talking about. You come back. Let's talk about it. Anyway, moving on. Our other trailer that just dropped this week is Sonic 3. Actually, I believe that dropped this morning as I'm recording. So release date for Sonic 3, December 20th of this year. Looks like they're going to do a pretty good job of rounding this one out. Don't know if we're going to go past the third movie, but do we really need to at this point? Just because they've all been pretty solid. The first two, rather, were pretty solid. So, yeah. That's what we got there. Let's move into some regular ass news. Our regular ass news has to do with Tim Curry, which is kind of super exciting. This is going to be the first movie Tim Curry has been cast in, live action, has been cast in since 2010. The name of the movie is called Stream. It is going to be a thriller slash horror movie. It is going to be a theatrical release. It's going to be in select theaters, though. No date just yet as to its release in theaters or as any sort of streaming information just yet. Because, like I said, theatrical is the way to go. So they're not going to cut themselves off at the knees by saying, oh, yeah, and then you can just watch it whenever you want on this streaming service after this date. So super cool, though. Tim Curry after having his, was it a stroke in 2016 that has made mobility an issue for him. And it's really cool to see him getting back out and getting some live action roles. He's done a lot of voice work. He actually revisited the Frankenfurter in a commercial. What was that in 2018? 20, no, that was 2012 is before the accident. So yeah. And, and that was the live broadcast version that they redid of Rocky Horror. So it's been a while since we've seen live action Tim Curry, so I'm super stoked about that just because the, the, the guy's a gem. Anyway, that's what we got for regular ass news. Let's talk about suggestions this week. Sticking with that Wolverine kind of theme that we've sort of been going on this entire, this entire episode, we're saying Pioneers. This is a movie starring Hugh Jackman. A couple other bigger names in here you're going to recognize, but it's also directed by Denis Villeneuve, and it's not science fiction. So that's interesting. This is a thriller. This is a very dark, kind of hard to watch thriller, but very incredibly well acted. Just, you just, you, you are along for the ride the whole way through. So the real quick, we have film centers around the abduction of two young girls in a small town and the desperate search by their families and the police. As the, inve as the investigation stalls, one of the fathers takes matters into his own hands, leading to a dark and morally complex journey that blurs the lines between right and wrong. That is an understatement. Go watch this movie. As long as you're not too squeamish, because it's pretty heavy. But that is your suggestion for the week. Prisoners, starring Hugh Jackman, directed by Denis Villeneuve. And you can find it on Tubi and most of the streaming services for purchase. I believe it is currently on Amazon Prime, though. If you do not want to purchase it and you already have a Prime account, you can watch it there. That brings us to the end of the video, nerds. Thank you very much for joining me for the news. Once again, there is a full and probably much more up-to-date and recent episode of the news, the full-length version, if you will, called The Week in Nerdom over on the main channel, linked down in the description and probably link popping up somewhere around my face right about now. So click on that, go check that out as well. Or if you prefer your news in more truncated pieces, then by all means, just stick around here and go check out some of the other stuff we offer on this channel. Thank you very much for joining me. We will see you in the next one. Before we go, always, always remember, nerds, that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here.